not only change the sequencing, but I think you can get more power out of loading better. Yeah, I, de I definitely don't do a good, I, I don't do a good job at that, loading better. Like, yep. I try to just stay right here, but then I get this way. Correct. So we got it okay. Correct. And that has a lot to do with all of this other sequencing stuff and the timing of it. Gotcha. Okay. So rather than just saying, oh, okay, we've got to work on your verticals, I just think it's more about like improving your first two and then the timing of it, then I think everything else would kind of fall into place. Okay. So if you have this much power potential as a horizontal, like you can see the, the length and scope of that graph, mm -hmm. right? I would want it to be more up and down like this. And that would just mean like you get to like, let's say 80, 85. Now is that like a literally lateral? No, nope. that's, so that's, 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 that's where I get confused. Like is it lateral or just? That's a, that's a load in the ship without a sway. It was load loaded. in the ship. So yes. So I kind of like, you know, like, kind of like. So I would be literally like getting into my right heel. Okay. This would be, you know, that's, sway. That's, that's where I've struggled in the past and that's why I've tried to not even like move off, move right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So of course, you know, somebody like yourself, I've never, a sway would be defined as this line right here. And you can see how you literally work away from that line. Your pelvis. That's not. So that's you like not loading. That's not it, okay. So you're already kind of going this way. I'm exaggerating. For sure, I get you. So if you can like literally load up that right side better, and now when you start down, you've got something to push with. I, I, I kind of definitely feel like I'm more, it's a false graph, I feel like I'm way behind it. You're behind it. Now I can, you're behind it. That goes back to what you're saying, when you're walking that direction, you're pushing yes. back, so now I need to get over here. Yes. So when you turn to the top, if we're just starting to now just look at like imagery and video, mm -hmm. like when you turn to the top, you never get behind the wall. Yeah. I drew that line straight up from the wall. So now you shift, and now you're in front of the wall with your upper body and your head. So that's going to require you to be like, okay, what do I got to do? Well, I got to either ram the club into the ground or, or get up. Yeah. And that's why you see that vertical stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah, come, come together. So if we put these things in order of priority, like I'd be saying, look, can I get you into 80, 85% load into your right heel? Okay. And you're gonna do that based on, like obviously letting this hip go back and load, but obviously there is mass here, and I would let the mass at least get behind the ball. Okay. Instead of trying to make this really like Right, the center pivot about movement. Like you're you're here, and now you're kind of hooked. Right, or I fall, or you go back. Go, you go back the other way. Okay. So make it simple first. Let's get you. So we're just loading up on that. Yep. You want me to use a use a ball or just? How about do it once or twice with a just a motion, a feel. Then you want a full swing, or just have to go. How about do it nice and smooth first? And I can give you a drill to help if you need it. Let's see what you do as a player. Your verticals happen sooner, like all this stuff happened in order and sequence. Without like 
try and think of everything. And this one, the one at the bottom is boom. This is ripple. So that was where that was more over to the impact before. Yep. So the big difference was literally just right here. By a, there's your visual. First way, here would be where the ball would be. So you load it up back behind the ball. When I was loading up there, it felt I felt like I was getting like lower to the ground. Great. And I did feel as I came through, like I felt that coming up. Right. As opposed to the other time, the other at the beginning. Yep. Didn't really feel like I felt like it was coming from the ground. I didn't feel that at the beginning. I was I didn't feel didn't really feel anything. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right, now let's put it all in the way. Five or six swing, I felt like I was really trying to swing hard to get it to go. Okay. That one didn't really feel hard, yeah. and that definitely, I mean, that was, that was hit darn good. Yes, it was. So by you literally just maximizing your horizontal force, and I'll pull up both of these so you can see it side by side. Okay. And I'll just bring up the, the horizontal force. So that's the only one. That's that's just the initial 